Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are discussing a case as patient has presented with the history of fits and we had MRI brain having both plain and post contrast components. Here we can see there is cavernous and germa in right temporal lobe which is around 2 cm in size and here we can also see multiple venous angiomas we can also see developmental venous anomalies which are deep in supratentorial compartment that is around lateral ventricles and we can also see multiple venous angiomas involving both cerebellar hemispheres draining into fourth ventricle. These venous angiomas are isolated in 75% cases but in 20% cases they are associated with cavernous malformation as we have seen in this case. Common presentations are number one seizures, number two stroke that is ischemic changes and third thing is intracranial hemorrhage. Usually these venous malformations or venous angiomas are incidental finding and are usually seen in 2 to 9 percent of the cases especially on post contrast images. We can see them in cortical gray matter number one in subcortical white matter number two in number three in deep white matter especially around ventricles in this case we have third type that is lesions are noted around ventricles thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah